In this lesson, risk management plan will be explained. First, let's take a look at the concept of risk management. We should understand that all medicines have risks to some extent. Therefore, it is very important to maintain a positive balance between benefits and risks while using a drug. To this end, we have to understand what kind of risks exist and what can be done to minimize them. To collect information of the risks involved in the use of a medicine and to implement safety measures against these risks is called risk management. There are two key activities in risk management. These are pharmacovigilance activity and risk minimization activity. With these activities, we can minimize the risks and improve the positive balance in favor of benefits. This slide shows the risk management cycle. First, the information of adverse effects observed is collected. Then the data is analyzed and a hypothesis is formed. Next, based on the hypothesis, safety measures against the adverse effects are planned and implemented. After the implementation, the effects of the safety measures are assessed. This cycle is repeated throughout the life cycle of the drug. Pharmacovigilance activity comprises the collection of information stage while planning and implementation of safety measures comes under risk management activity. Risk Management Plan, RMP in short, is a detailed description of the risk management system. It has two aims. The first is to confirm whether pharmacovigilance and risk minimization activities are going on as planned. The other is to share with stakeholders what risks there are in the drug, what pharmacovigilance activities are being conducted for risks, and what risk minimization activities are being implemented for risks. RMP consists of three elements, safety specification, pharmacovigilance plan, and risk minimization plan. One, safety specification, characterization of the safety profile of the medicinal product, including what is known and not known. Two, pharmacovigilance plan, planning of pharmacovigilance activities to characterize and identify new risks and increase the knowledge in general about the safety profile of the medicinal product. 3. Risk Minimization Plan Planning and implementation of risk minimization and mitigation activities and assessment of the effectiveness of these activities. Safety specification functions are a summary of the safety profile of a drug. Product safety profile is characterized on the basis of information from various sources, like animal studies, clinical studies, overseas post-marketing, and experience of same-class drugs. To describe safety profile of drugs, ICH guidelines introduce the concept of identified risks, potential risks, and missing information. These definitions are shown here. Important identified risks are risks for which the association with the drug is known. For example, event whose relationship with drug is sufficiently confirmed based on non-clinical and clinical data, or events that are frequently reported in post-marketing and whose causal relationship with drug is suggested by temporal relevance. Important potential risks are risks for which the association with the drug has been suspected but not sufficiently confirmed. For example, event that is suspected as safety concerned based on non-clinical data but has not been confirmed via clinical data, or the adverse effect that is well known by class effect but is not reported based on clinical data of the drug. Missing information is the risk for which sufficient information to predict safety has not been obtained in the clinical trials because of limited data, such as eligibility criteria or enrollment, insufficient time to confirm such risks, etc. These risks are anticipated to become conceivable in the real world. PMDA determines the safety specifications depending on the situation of each drug in the review process for approval and post-marketing. On the basis of the safety specification, marketing authorization holders or PMDA assess what pharmacovigilance and risk minimization activities are needed for each safety concern. In Japan, all drugs need to collect ADR information as pharmacovigilance activity and have package insert as risk minimization activity. It needs to be considered on a case-by-case -case basis whether additional pharmacovigilance and risk minimization activities should be conducted. For instance, 
The need for additional risk minimization activity depends on the severity of the risk, the healthcare setting, the indication, the pharmaceutical form, and the target population. These are the key differences of risk management system between the U.S., the EU, and Japan. The U.S. has Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy, or REMS in short. REMS is applied to only selected products decided by U.S. FDA. REMS focuses on additional risk minimization plan and has no pharmacovigilance plan as post-marketing requirements and no routine risk minimization measure. The EU and Japan has RMP, which is applied to all new drugs. There are routine and additional activities in RMP. EU RMP is longer and more extensive and includes EU local requirements such as pediatric use. Compared to EU RMP, JRMP is more concise and practical. Please note that the number of safety specifications in EU RMP tends to be smaller according to the revision of EU GVP Module V. Despite the differences in systems, there are two harmonization points for risk management. First, all risk minimization activities are designed to ensure safe use of the drug. Second, products benefit risk balance assessment should always be performed regardless of regulatory requirement.